Welcome to the Stock Market Morning Prep video for Wednesday, April 29th. Quick admin note, apologize for not getting a video out for the last couple days. I've had some technical issues with YouTube uploading the uh, Stock Market Morning Prep video on the website. I have no idea what happened, but nonetheless, uh, apologize for that. Uh, let's get right to it. have some pretty good, exciting stuff to discuss with you guys today, just to kind of go over and get you guys ready. Uh, more so for the swing trader in the longer term uh, uh, p position or investor itself. Uh, and those of you who do have a longer term account, you might want to take advantage of what I'm going to say. Um, well, let's talk about the markets real quick. The last couple of days, we've had some volatility come in, like we discussed uh, last week. Uh, and this is to be expected, which is kind of good volatility if you know how to trade it. If you're a little nervous about it or you're new to the business, I'd step aside right now and wait till uh, things calm down a little bit. But we did have a market that um, actually sold off pretty hard on consumer confidence. We had some uh, European data that came out in pre-market, so we had some pre-market weakness as well. And then uh, we started to rally, and uh, we recouped a lot of the losses, and we actually closed positive in the Dow Jones. So I'm going to go over those charts to you. But last week, I mentioned, guys, I'm liking bonds short. Bonds short. Now, we've been in a bull market in bonds since 1981, and I believe that's coming to an end. And I mean that in a serious way, guys. Something to look forward, forward to in your swing trading account, your longer term position account, or maybe even your investment account, okay, your retirement account. Something that you look for. Bonds, to me, look like they're starting to roll over. Uh, and again, that does not mean that it's going to happen straight down, guys. They are going to be rallies in oversold rallies, and that, to me, is going to be opportunity to sell into. In front of you is the TLT, okay, that is the... Uh, um, the uh, bond ETF, the TLT. So if bonds go higher, the TLT goes higher, right? They're correlated, all right? It's just another way of a, of a retail investor that will look to take advantage of buying bonds. You could do that to the TLT ETF. And you could see here clearly, um, since way back when in 2014, now remember, this is just 2014. Bonds, if you take a look at the monthly chart, they've been in a long-term uptrend since 1981. That, to me, is now breaking down. Um, and what do I mean by that? I mean that bonds are starting to break down here. Big inverted, uh, excuse me, big head and shoulders pattern here, you can see. Um, but nonetheless, even if it's not even a, a head and shoulders pattern, if you decide you don't think so, whatever the case may be, this is a very big, large topping pattern. We have this trend line here that has been broken yesterday. Bonds are in the pre-market are selling off pretty hard here as we speak, okay? Now, if... You don't want to um, short TLT. You can do that by an inverse called the TBT. And the TBT, you'll see, is an inverse fund. Now, you can see clearly, to me, this is what I would be doing, is looking to buy the TBT. Look at the beautiful base here, high or low from this previous low. And we have another base building here that's happening right in this area. And you can see that clearly when I just draw a trend line, and we've broken out of that base. So to me, and that's why uh, more so technically, um, bonds are in trouble, where we could have a nice big move up into that 49 area, which the 200-day moving average, okay? But you could clearly see this in the, in the downtrend. If you look at the volume profiles, these volume zones here, we have a thin zone. Once we break back above $45, it will take a beeline shot. I'm telling you, it's like a magnet. It will go up to the next area of resistance, which would be the 200-day moving average of 49.43. That's how I would play it if, uh, if you are interested in this idea. Uh, but this is great. Now, let's talk about why. Uh, well, we all know that we haven't had a full-fledged correction in five years since 2009. Um, so we've had small pullbacks, 4% uh, corrections, which aren't even really a correction. It's just a pullback. Now, if this really takes shape where bonds start to really sell off and yields rise, what's going to happen? Well, the, the banks are going to benefit from higher yields, more interest, right? That's number one. What does that do? That puts a bid under the banks and financials. That actually helps fuel a market rally, all right? We, not only just banks and financials, but we need the banks and financials to, to participate. Okay, that's number one. Number two, where is money coming out of fixed income? It has to go somewhere. It's going to go into the stock market. And this is where I'm saying that I'm not saying we're not going to have pullbacks and corrections, but if you're looking to uh, um, be a doom and gloom that the markets are going to sell off and have a major correction, I do not see that at this time. 
Uh, yeah, we could take advantage of small little pullbacks, uh, intraday sell-offs. Absolutely. You know, we're down now in the pre-market a little bit, and rightfully so. I, I would I would definitely look to short intraday. But as far as building a short position, guys, stay away from that at the moment. I do not see this. We are in a longer-term uptrend. The weeklies and monthlies are well intact. Yes, we do have some volatility in the dailies, and the dailies have been in ranges. So we either break down from these ranges or we need to start taking out the highs. And if that happens, that's where I'm going to shift my focus on and let price tell me which way the markets are headed. I am not going to guess or assume anything in this crazy market, okay? But I do like bond short. Let's run into the index. You can see here that the spiders, we have this ascending triangle. Uh, if you want to even call it a bull flag, you could even see that, you know, from here. Here's your, fl here's your flag pole. Here's your flag. Uh, people like to see it that way. But nonetheless, it's still a bullish pattern, guys. So uh, let's see if this breaks down. Now, remember, we're selling off in the pre-market. We could break below this 20-day and really start to break down again, okay? And we are coming into seasonal weakness starting in May. This is the last couple days of strength. The best, best part of the markets are November to April. Uh, seasonality now, we're coming into some weakness. So we could see some weakness. There's no question. I don't see a crash happening. I don't see anything like that at the moment, okay? Um, let's take a look at the IYT. This is, again, the canary in the coal mine here. Very, very weak. If we break down and break below the 200, then we could get a nice little sell-off, which I would love because if markets pull back 8, 10, 15 percent, uh, I would want everybody to buy with two hands uh, the market because that's going to be probably the best buying opportunity in the next five years of the markets at the moment. Again, as well as long as the analysis stay intact. Remember, things do change, okay? And will change with the markets. Let's take a look at the IWM. Again, this is our leader right now. It's a secondary leader, but definitely leading the way higher is the, uh, the Russell 2000, okay? People have a good appetite for risk. This is another good positive for the market, okay? Uh, I'm not an advocate. I'm not a bull advocate. I'm not uh, touting bull here or bear. I just see what I look at in the charts and what the charts are telling me, and I like to uh, um, obviously report it. Diamonds, okay, big, big sell-off, hit the 50, bounced right up, recovered nicely, up 44 points, I believe, yesterday. But again, another good sign they're buying the dips, guys, okay? So don't get too heavily short, and, I, and I've talked to many traders during the day that they're short, they think the markets are a top. Don't, don't, don't listen to them. Do your own market analysis. Do your own analysis. Make sure it coincides with what you're listening to, okay? Lastly is the uh, cues, and again, uh, technology did very well. Technology is doing quite well, actually, and that is a great sign. If we can get the banks and financials to start rallying on this sell-off in bonds, guys, I think we can have a pretty decent uh, move higher here. Again, but I would suspect a little bit of weakness first before the markets then, it's, then it's, and, um, uh, explode higher, okay? That's what we're looking at for today. So um, I'm, right now the markets are down eight. I'm basically taking a neutral stand right now based on the reversal we had yesterday. So I'm gonna let the markets open up, see where the price action takes us, and then, and then make a decision then, okay? Have a great day, everybody. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care.